Oh my god, there is no way that worked. Um, I'm going to show you some test shots, and uh, you're not going to believe what I'm going to tell you, but uh, I said I'm a ham radio operator. I grew up thinking about electromagnetism most of my life, unlike other people. Um, this is amazing, but it's exactly what I expected. I got some test shots with the D750 on tripod, both exact same uh, focus, both exact same uh, exposure and manual mode. Um, did a shot of a t-shirt, and uh, you can test this yourself, although you probably won't want to because I uh, took a test shot with a t-shirt, and then I took another test shot at a high ISO, so it would be a grainy shot regardless of whether I... Uh, you know, use the cell phone or not, then I, there's a cellular repeater not too far from here, so it's actually probably putting out less than 100 uh, milliwatts of uh, power on uh, the cell phone. Uh, very, very small. I uh, put the phone uh, a foot away, and uh, I did a test call to a place where you can listen. You'll still transmit. The cell, the cell phone has no idea who you're talking to, so it's actually transmitting out electromagnetic interference. So I was transmitting, going blah, 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 and actually took the test shot, and of course, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, low gain antenna, of course, just sprays out um, uh, electromagnetic uh, radiation at uh, 800 uh, megahertz. I think this one's at 800 and some megahertz. And uh, that caused disruption in uh, the signal from the sensor. So see the test shots in the links below, and uh, you'll see. And you'll, you'll not hear anybody talking about this. So what the cell phone did is I basically uh, took the issues that exist inside the Sony A7 and every DSLR, really. When they get hot, they have hot pixels. And people will say, like, oh, my God, my camera is a 40-some megapixel camera. So it's not ISO-related noise. It is not sensor-based noise. It is EMI-based noise, electromagnetic interference that people like, oh my god, yeah. Uh, certain cameras are far worse than other ones. I'm saying all of them have it, so I'm not singling out Sony. As you saw in the prior video, I took a test shot of this camera in the freezer. But this time, uh, I could achieve the same thing by just taking a normal test shot and then taking an additional test shot, uh, talking on the cell phone about a foot away from the back of the Nikon D750 that I took the test shots with. And so far as the other uh, stuff... Um, with, uh, you know, the heat, it's important to understand that it's not the heat. It's kind of like a feedback loop when we're referring to uh, the radiation issues, the electromagnetic energy. It's not the warmth that's the issue, it's pure causation. Rather, the heat causes electromagnetic interference, EMI, which blasts the sensor's listening capabilities of hearing the light versus the noise. It's all electromagnetism. Um, it's also true that EMI from the electronics directly behind the sensor, and there's a lot of it. And uh, in some cameras, there's not only a lot more of it, but it's really, 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 really close. Um, uh, all that EMI from the electronics is lossy internal information transfer that causes the buildup of heat. Lossy electronics make heat. Heating, like, you know, for example, a heating pad. Um, it's designed to be lossy. All electronics are uh, lossy. It's only a matter of how lossy they are. Yeah, lossy is a technical, is a correct, accurate word to talk about how lossy something is. Heat causes, here's the feedback loop issue. People will get confused on this. Heat causes electromagnetic interference, which causes signal noise in the picture. Okay, Electromagnet, electromagnetic interference generates heat, which causes more and worse electromagnetic interference as it builds up, which of course also causes signal noise in uh, the picture. External heat, you know, it's blasting down on you, it's hot outside. External heat generates internal lossy electrical transmission and therefore generates uh, electromagnetic interference, which of course then, of course, you know, causes uh, signal noise in the picture. So I just proved it with a cell phone next to my D750 that I caused a grainy shot with a cell phone. You don't believe me? You can try it yourself. A lot of people are like, I'm not going to stick my cell phone up next to my expensive DSLR camera. Well, you don't have to. Um, I did it for you. I uh, let my D750 take the risk. Uh, it was only a foot away, and it is low, very low power output, actually. But it's undeniable, it's irrefutable. This is what's going on in those cameras where people are scratching their heads like, you know, this camera's got good ISO performance, you're right. This camera's a really high megapixel uh, sensor, you're right. 
It is not noise from the ISO or the sensor. It is noise because Sony especially has jammed, not in this point and shoot, but like the A7R, A7R2, has jammed a ton of crud right behind the sensor. Just kind of like if I had neighbors next door, I'm trying to listen to some tunes, and they're blasting the guitars and beating on the drums. Can't hear very well. Even if I had headphones on, I'd feel like, ah, that's the issue. Okay, heat causes EMI. Uh, EMI, it's a feedback loop. Heat causes EMI, EMI causes heat, but it's uh, not the heat specifically, unless it's external heat, which causes lossy uh, electromagnetic uh, interference to become amplified, because it is the case that professional photographers know this is true, that uh, if you take a camera out somewhere hot, you'll get these hot pixels and you'll have uh, worse noise issues. And it is much, much more apparent in uh, higher ISOs. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.